This is a jockey in Java, and this is a jockey in Bedrock. There are 50 different features between Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition. In Java, bridging is really slow. However, in Bedrock, bridging is way easier. You can literally place blocks in front of you. In Java, when it snows, the leaves on the trees stay the same. But in Bedrock, the leaves turn white, which looks really pretty. In Java, armor stands don't have any arms, but in Bedrock, they do. This allows them to hold any items. They can even be name tagged and can even have potion effects. I guess Bedrock stole Java's arms? In Java, you use your shield while standing, but for some reason in Bedrock, you have to crouch to use it. The Wither in Java has 150 HP and is easy to fight if you're underground. But the Bedrock Wither is way more menacing. Even killing it is deadly. This Wither has 300 HP and will charge at you at high speeds, drill through blocks, and spawn Wither Skeletons for backup. Cauldrons in Bedrock are way more useful than Java. In Bedrock, you can color the water to dye leather armor. You can even add potions to easily make tipped arrows. I bet you I can fit through this tiny gap in this wall. If I use a boat on Java, it doesn't work. But in Bedrock, I can face through the wall easily. This is a villager in Java, and this is a... Wait, what is that? This is an NPC that is exclusive to Bedrock, with commands. You can even change its looks and give it dialogue. Java and Bedrock's sugarcane are almost similar, but you can't bone mill sugarcane on Java. It only works on Bedrock. On Java, dolphins are peaceful mobs. That's not the case on Bedrock. Punching a dolphin will result in it attacking you. I guess the Java dolphin can't stand up for itself. In Java, when you feed a parrot a cookie, it instantly dies. But in Bedrock, the parrot dies slowly. This is because of a special poison called Fatal Poison. This death is so cruel. You might be familiar with Java's Firelands or World Border. But in Bedrock, if you travel 17 million blocks out, you'll find the Stripe Lands. The game gets really laggy to the point you can't move, and placing blocks is glitchy. But if you cross the line, you'll just end up in the void. It seems like a normal zombie, but it's actually huge. This giant is only exclusive in Java through commands, but at least he's friendly. In Java, when you sprint jump, your legs move around freely. But in Bedrock, your legs look stiff. It looks like you're constipated. In Bedrock, parrots are more fun than Java. In Java, playing a music disc will make a parrot dance, but not on your shoulder. But on Bedrock, they keep dancing even on your shoulder. The party is never over. I can actually light this TNT without a flint and steel. In Bedrock, if I use a fire aspect book, the TNT ignites. It even works with a sword. It can also light campfires and candles. If you notice in Bedrock, the glass pane sprite is 3D, but on Java, it's 2D. On Java, you can show your friends to, to make them think they have a glitched inventory, but uh, this is too obvious to pull off on Bedrock. Did you know you can duplicate flowers? On Bedrock, by using bone meal, you can dupe tall flowers and also small ones. But Java, you have to go adventuring for flowers. How did I get this creeper face on my shield? Well, on Bedrock, you can apply any banner onto your shield by using a crafting table. Why does this pillager look bloated? On Bedrock, if you type this command, you can make your body look like a ghast. You can even make any mob dance and make your body really tiny. This roller coaster is so fun. You can make this on Bedrock with soul sand to create bubbles that make your minecart bounce. This is a shulker combined with a chest. It is 100% obtainable without cheats. Just push a chest into a shulker and you get a cool chest. On Bedrock, when you open the chat, it takes up the entire screen. But on Java, it's way simpler. Bedrock does have advantages with quick commands. What is this place? This is Bedrock's marketplace. This is where you can buy add-ons and skins. But you have to purchase mine coins first. Ow, my face. On Bedrock, you can play many different emotes, but most of them are locked behind mine coins. Bedrock's villagers are slightly better than Java's. On Bedrock, trading with a villager only shows one trade. But on Bedrock, you can see the next trades. Java's creative inventory is so unorganized. On Bedrock, things are organized into categories and subcategories. 
which makes finding things way easier. Bedrock piglins are scared of something pretty funny. Since piglins are scared of soul campfires, but by putting out the soul campfire, the piglins are still scared of it. Look, I have dual swords. In Java, you can hold any item in your offhand. But in Bedrock, you can only hold a handful of items. This bubble column has no water. On Bedrock, by making a bubble elevator and placing powdered snow and destroying it with water, you can make an invisible bubble elevator. If I drop this dripstone through this portal on Bedrock, it just breaks into items. But on Java, the dripstone goes through the portal, making it a dead trap. On Java, if I try to push this chest with a piston, it doesn't work. But on Bedrock, it does. You can even push many other storage blocks. We all know TNT doesn't explode underwater. But on Java, if you drop a sand on top of it, it explodes. But on Bedrock, it doesn't. Java has squids and Bedrock has baby squids? Bedrock even has baby dolphins and baby glow squids and three different sizes of salmon. This portal is illegal. On Bedrock, lighting an end portal will remove the obsidian. But on Java, the portal just breaks. Enchanted golden apples are OP on Bedrock. Eating an enchanted golden apple on Java gives you regeneration 2, but on Bedrock, it gives regeneration 5. On Java, you can trap an enderman in a boat and he can't escape. But don't try this on Bedrock or else it will backfire. Look at how fast this piglin is trading. On Bedrock, repeatedly pushing a gold block makes them trade faster. But the piglins on Java are smarter than this. This is a sniper. On Java, by dropping sand on a cobweb and pushing it with a piston, it just breaks into items. Doing this on Bedrock will launch the sand forward. You like my new dirt house? On Java, you get onto the nether the roof you can place blocks but in bedrock you can't place blocks now you're stuck in here forever have you ever seen snowballs on fire on bedrock by throwing a snowball through fire it can burn mobs making snow golems actually useful no my redstone on java placing redstone underwater won't work but on bedrock it works perfectly why is this creeper chasing me on a boat in bedrock you can attach leads onto a boat making transporting villagers way easier why is this water so dirty? On bedrock, the water color changes depending on the biome. But on java, the water is same everywhere you go. Why is this stick enchanted? It is actually a special stick called the debug stick. On java, this allows you to change the direction of any block. You can even make some pretty illegal blocks with this. This is a flat world and this is a super flat world. What's the difference? I don't know. On Java, super flats can have villages and strongholds. You can even make custom super flats. But on bedrock, there's just annoying slimes. Ocean monuments on bedrock are harder than Java. We all know elder guardians give mining fatigue. But on Java, if you drink milk, it just removes it. But on bedrock, you'll just instantly get the effect again. On Java, you can make a carpet duper to get infinite fuel. But in bedrock, you can't use carpets as fuel. But at least you can use beehives. In Java, when you attack, there's a small cooldown, making axes stronger than swords. Java's swords even have a sweep attack. But on bedrock, you can spam click without a cooldown. How is this piston powered? On Java, this is because of something called qu quasi... Qu Kaza. What? Just separate a redstone block from a piston and break the block below it and you get a cursed looking piston. Subscribe if you love Minecraft.